Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 53 of Europa Universalis 4 as Spain. I had to think what the episode number was there again, forgetting. So, somebody mentioned a couple of videos ago in the comments that Austria were actually no longer my rival. And indeed they are not. Now their attitude towards me is hostile. Neighbouring heretic religion doesn't help that much. Um, let's definitely go and send a... Um, let's definitely go and send a diplomat over to them. Let's bring this one back from France. Can we grab any more claims on France? If we can grab any more claims on France, we probably should. Right, so let's go ahead and bring that diplomat back from France. And then we'll go and send one over to Austria as soon as we can to start improving relations there. We might be able to get an alliance with Austria. Now, Austria are busy beating up the Ottomans, which could potentially be good for me. Um, but there's probably not an awful lot we can do while they are in that fight. We've also probably got a fair bit of aggressive expansion over here as well. Mm, not as much as you would think, mostly against Burgundy. We could go ahead and attack France a little bit more. Which is definitely something I would like to get done. And Savoy probably wouldn't be too happy about it. How are France actually doing? Let's have a look at their numbers again these days. Armies. France. Back up to 150,000 men. They've still got 53,000 um, mercenaries. And they've got no manpower of their own. And they are in... They're actually defending the Ottomans. Are you allied with the Ottomans? France are allied with the Ottomans. That is disgusting. So yeah, we definitely need Austria on our side before we can do anything else. That said, if I were to just go, like, right now and declare a war on France, would the Ottomans come in? Yes, they still would. Well, that's not good. Now, where have the rest of my armies all disappeared to? We've got a 30 stack down here. Oh, yeah, they're all mostly over here still in England, which is fine, I guess. Let's move you over. So let's start getting you guys back over to the Spanish mainland. I mean, I could still probably beat France in a fight, providing that the, uh, the Ottomans stay out of it, but it's not looking likely that that's going to happen now, is it? So you are the heavies. You are missing a heavy. Not too sure if I've got one in production somewhere. Let's just have a quick look. Can we see a heavy being built anywhere? I can't see a heavy being built anywhere. Um, might be missing one though. It's always possible. Do we have anything down here being built? Buildings? No, doesn't look like we do. Let's go ahead and get one there then. So we'll get another heavy. Um, military access from Mali. We don't need you. So what we could do in the meantime is go and have a bit of a fight down here. I would like to try and vassalize these guys. They're only allied with An um, Andha, Handra, I think. That is right. You've got 23k men, which is a little bit more than I do. But again, I've still got the stronger troops here. What have you got? Shock damage is received, minus 10%. You've got some siege. Yeah, let's go and put you in charge of this army. And let's go and see if we can get a quick fight done down here. So let's go ahead and declare war on these guys. So in we go. And let's just go... Well, we can't even get to them there. So let's just go marching on your fort. There are a few ships down here, but I'm not particularly bothered by that. They all just want to sit down there on the islands. There's no forts down here, so they're not getting any uh, any war score. Now, they are blockading, which is fine. I'm not going to march over there. They've sort of left themselves trapped on the island. So we've got a guy who's got some siege, and uh, we've got eight cannons there as well, so it shouldn't take us long to get this siege done. So I don't really have any ships that I can bring down here, but that's fine. Right, okay, how are we doing for tech? We are 
quite a bit ahead of time. So cheaper land maintenance modifier is not a bad thing. Austria have cancelled the right to military access. That's what, how are things going with Austria. Are we actually increasing our relationship with them? Looks like it might be going up slightly. We've lost an advisor. It's our Diplo guy. Um, let's just go for trade efficiency. Right, you're now marching back across here. That's fine. You're just going to go and hide down in that corner. I'll go and beat his army up. Unfortunately, I can't get over here while they're blockading, and it's only going to take four ships. Um, Match, if I control this side, they can't blockade me, I don't think. Now, they might be working their way around to go and try and uh, siege me out up the top. That's quite a possibility. So, we want to try and get these uh, sieges done as quickly as possible. Go and find their armies. Hopefully we'll get lucky and this will be our tick. Nope, of course not. Defenders desert. No, well that gives us a relatively decent chance next time around. I just didn't think this war was really worth bringing another stack down and all of the boats. Right, we have hit the admin cap again. Uh, we are at three stability. It's really not worth using it to buy down the inflation. We will have some coring to do very soon. Never been in a position before where I've had too many admin points and I don't know what to do with them. I guess we could go ahead and do a little bit more development. Just a few little bits in a, in a few little provinces. Just to get us away from the cap for a bit. That'll be fine. Let's try and get this war finished. Oh, come on. You've got to be joking. While this is still going on, how are things going on here with France versus uh, Austria? Looks like the war has ended. So any chance we had of getting, um, getting to France there is probably lost. Yeah, the Ottomans would still come in. That's a little bit nasty. I mean, we could go and declare war on the Congo. We we'll certainly pull that off. Um, who are Congo allied with? Congo are just allied with France and, and Chokwe, who we don't care about. Unfortunately, I don't have a CB on you, do I? No. And I probably can't get one either, because I don't have any land next to you that's colonised. However, we could go and colonise that. We do have a free colonist, so let's go ahead and send a, colon uh, uh, a colonial troop there. Now, somebody else did also mention that I lost some provinces um, in a rebellion. And I'm not even sure where that was. Maybe it was over here. Now then, you. You are allied with Canem Bonu and... Is that Canem? Can Canem. Canem Bonu and Nupe. Well, there's Nupe. Canem Bonu's all the way over there. A seven stack is probably a little bit light to deal with that. As we can't attack the French straight the way. Um, let's get you guys on the transport fleet. And we're going to go down here and have some fun in Africa. Uh, we'll take the Diplo hit. We can afford to do that. Let's keep our eye on what's happening in India. So we've got one of your th forts. You are down here somewhere, I think. There, there you are. So we just murdered his 25 stack completely. Um, let's just do a quick split here because I would like to try and grab some of these provinces quickly if I can. Maintain that diplomat with Austria. Let's go and siege out what we can as soon as we can. Got to be careful because I don't want him turning around and just marching back across and trying to take me out that way. 
Now, what I also want to do here is split off a single regiment. And if possible... See, they shouldn't be able to blockade me. I thought you're only supposed to be able to blockade if someone controls both sides of the strait. Well, I control one side and he controls the other. It's not really going to help him in the war. Because we shall soon be able to take all of this stuff and there's nothing he's going to be able to do about it, really. So let's group you all up together there. Let's split you up and move half of you up here. Now, we can't get up there directly, but that's fine. He's pretty much running out of places that he can go. We've already got 35 war score. Once we get his capital, we'll have a lot more. If we could get open borders through Bramanis, which we might be able to. No, they don't actually give it. That's unfortunate. And I can't get into there unless I can get it, so... Let's march in here and help with this siege. Meanwhile, we should have arrived in Africa. And we have. Um, let's pick these mercenaries up and take them over to our new colony. And let's go ahead and declare a war on you, assuming that we can. Apparently we can. New pay will come in, but that's fine. Okay, so we'll do a holy war here. You're going to march in straight over there. So again, it is one of these situations where I've got to keep my eye on several things at once, but that should be alright. So this will give me a way to um, work on Congo. Colony over here has become self-sustaining. Let's go and work on that one then. Looks like you guys are getting stuff done over here. I don't need to worry too much about that. The 13 colonies are starting to expand a little bit. British Mexico is the, the main sort of scary one right now. And I will want to take some more of this stuff. Somebody did ask me the other day why I don't like give loads of land um, to my colonial nations when I separate peace out and if you've watched the whole series you'll know that normally I do but sometimes you can just give them a, an awful lot of overextension and they can't always core everything if it's if it's in land and it's they don't have they don't share a um sea tile with it then they can't core it either so you've you've got to have uh, you've got to have it within coring range for them to actually be able to make it into a core all right let's keep our eye on things down here that should go our way fairly easily you guys can stay down there um i'm just gonna go and bring these guys it might eat yeah they're gonna dock their boats they're scared of my transports i mean that's uh that's a, a telltale sign right there that you're actually straight up scared of my transports and that's the siege in africa done um you are you're also one of our targets. Did Nupe get involved in this? Yeah, Nupe's involved as well. Now, we can't easily get to Nupe, but we could get open borders through somewhere. Not too sure which provinces it was that I lost. It might have been some of these ones down here. In fact, do I have cores on any of these? Don't have cores on... So, cause someone said I lost some to Benin. I don't have cores down here. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what uh, provinces that I lost. We have a self-sustaining colony. Excellent. Let's go and work on this one then. And work on these. Um, they want peace already. Not quite yet. Minus 14%. I don't want to merge this army together. Just in case he decides he's going to march over here. Because I can still move over there with uh, half of the stack. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for just there. 
Um, you are marching all the way down here to go and attack these mercenaries. Which is nice of you. Except you're going to have some problems. Um, is all of all of this just belong to you now? It is, isn't it? Okay, so that's a lot more stuff that I could suddenly take from you. And this is new pay. Great, so I'm going to be able to go and take a chunk. Now you should lose this battle. And indeed you did. And now you're sending in another six stack, which you should lose. And indeed you will. Meanwhile, I'm over here sieging out your fort. Um, what happened to my leader that was over here? Did I just move that leader over there? No, because this... Uh, maybe, no, maybe I never had a leader there. It was this guy, I think. I think I just teleported him from one side to the other. That'll be fine. It's not like the 30 stack really needs a leader to get jobs done over here. Right, we've got a wall breach. We've got a 14% chance we're going to take this. Um, these guys are also in this war, but we're not really going to be able to get to them. But we shouldn't need to. We should be able to get all the war score we need from beating up this army and taking his last province. So let's keep our eye on things over here. These mercenaries should uh, sort of respond and uh, beef up quite quickly. They're trying to rebuild, but it's going to take them a while. Right, we've got this siege over here. Let's group you guys together and we're going to go and march on your army. And uh, we might as well just finish this battle first. Excellent. Detach a siege. And did we actually stack wipe them? I think we actually stack wiped them. We did. Our coast has been raided. Let's go over here. We've got a dislo uh, well, a subject with high liberty desire, which is New Granada. Who's messing around with Granada? Um, let's go and... Um, we can spend some prestige. That sorts that problem out right there. Let's just go and march straight into New Pace Capital. Their armies are even having to fight the natives, which is not working out too well for them, so that's fine by me. Let's try and get this one over here in India finished. There we go. We've got them all sieged out. I'm guessing I can't get you to separate peace because you've not really been involved in the war. But we've got a 91% war score here. I can't get across the strait. Let's go and march you down to this end so that you won't get black flagged. Not that it makes too much of a difference anyway. That's it. Come on, you guys come and move in here and see what you can do. No, you're still fighting natives. So that's not really helping you, is it? There we go, we've got that last uh, heavy there. And it's quite possible that France might still decide to uh, get involved with this here. Oh, we've actually got uh, Spanish Brazil down here helping us with their ships. Excellent. So let's just go ahead and um, split the stack up just for a little bit of fast sieging. So this should be relatively quick. I would like to be able to go and do some more damage against France, but now that they're sort of friendly with the Ottomans... Or allied with the Ottomans. We're definitely going to have to give them a little bit of time before we can do that. I cannot I cannot just jump in against France and the Ottomans at the same time. Maybe if, if Austria does want to be allies, then maybe we can pull that off. But certainly at the moment, it's too big of a risk. We're at the admin um, cap again. We could go ahead and take the admin tech and be even further ahead of time. Which is very, very costly for us. I mean, we are about to take a lot of provinces. Okay, let's just go ahead and just spend a couple more points doing a tiny bit more development. Just so we're not at the cap again. And then hopefully we'll get these wars finished and we'll be able to take some land. We can always already go and peace out with these guys. So if I want to pursue you out, you can't, you can't be a vassal because you're too big. But we can take, if I click on the right thing, um, yeah, it's this one. So I can take all of these from you. Let's just take all of your coast. So now you don't have anything coastal. And then I can vassalize them and feed them, start feeding them this stuff later on. So uh, 
How much money do you have? Take your money away, it'll make you easier to beat in the next war. Lots of pop-ups that I could do without. Friends in need. Well, they're all going to be friends in need. We'll just gain the 10 prestige. Um... We need to do a load of coring. So now we don't have to worry too much about being near the cap. We've got uh, corruption, but that's because we've got overextension, so that is fine. And then we're getting stuff done over here. So this shouldn't be a particularly long war either. We'll, we'll separate peace out and new pay first. Because we'll have 100% occupation of them. Now, they still have some troops over here that think they're going to be able to actually uh, do something. Wow, you're marching fast. Um, lose 10 Diplo power, that's fine, we can afford that. You're going to go and try down there and try and siege. Our consort has died. Lots of stuff going on, let's get you marched over there. So we're going to have 100% siege out over here at the moment, and we will have to leave some of these troops lying around just to protect these uh, provinces. So let's get you guys all up where you should be. Are we all sitting in one province? No, we're sending a couple up there. Uh, Nupe's 100% sieged anyway. So let's go and take everything from you. Can't get these, unfortunately, because of the war score costs. Uh, but we can certainly go ahead and take all of that from you. So, there we go. That's probably given us quite a lot of overextension. It has. We're not over 100% yet, but we're close. So, we might just have to wait on this one and, and not peace out yet until we get rid of some of that overextension. But that's fine. We can manage that. Oh, you're over there sieging me. That's nice of you. Well, we shall we'll go over there and give you a good kicking. It's really not that much of an issue. Let's go ahead and give you... Um, I think it was that guy. So let's move down that way. Yep, and let's put all you guys together here. That should be fine. We just need some of that to go away. In the meantime, let's see if we can... What, well, what we could get away with. So you are still allied with the Ottomans. Ottomans would still come in to help you. Austria. Austria still dislikes me, so they wouldn't accept an alliance. One of those is because we're in a war. Uh, Austria is allied to Spanish rival Russia. Do I need to be rivaled to Russia? Who can I be rivaled to? I'm rivaled to Russia, uh, France and the Ottomans. If I were to pick somebody else, I can't remove a rival while at war anyway. I'd love to know who my rival options are. Because it would be absolutely fantastic um, to uh, change that and maybe get Austria on board. You're all moving up into that corner, which is fine. So, where could we pick on next? I mean, there's still some more of the Papal State we could have a have a bit of a chew on. They are allied with Nassau and those guys, so they're still pretty irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Uh, available mercenaries, and then we've only got two left to get now, which will be bigger garrison size and reduced land attrition, plus the uh, extra 50% land force limit modifier. So we'll be able, able to have an absolutely massive army uh, once that is done. Um, Savoy, you seem to be uh, a bit cocky these days. You are being, actually being guaranteed by France. That's actually not a bad thing. Um, if we were to declare on Savoy, that would bring France in without the Ottomans. Now, obviously, Savoy themselves is a pretty big. Uh, I'm going to end the video there, though, because we haven't gone over the 20-minute mark, and I don't feel like there's much else that I can get done at this point. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as Spain. Uh, when we come back next time, hopefully we'll finish that war in Africa once we've got rid of some of the overextension. Uh, we will build our army up a little bit more and think about declaring a war on Savoy 
and uh, bringing France in that way without having to deal directly with the Ottomans. It's a shame we can't actually get anybody else involved that might be able to help us out with the fight. Uh, but as usual, we'll see what we can do. I often say that there's not really much point in making any firm plans in EU4 because you never know how alliances and uh, friendship networks are going to change and all of a sudden something that you had planned, which could have been an easy win, turns into something quite difficult. But we'll, we'll work it out and we'll find something interesting to do. I'm still only third in score and I would like to uh, get up to first. Not that score counts for much, but I'd still like to do it anyway. So thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you on the next video and until then goodbye for now